get out of here? Will you get out of here? Will you? I'm trying to run an office here. Now, will you go to lunch? Go to lunch. Will you go to lunch? Detective! You're looking for me. Hey! Don't you fucking move. On the fucking floor. Keep, keep, keep away from him! On the fucking floor! I know you. Now! Get out! Get down! On your stomach, you piece of shit! Now! All the way! All the way, fucker! Down! Faster! Faster! Faster, fucker! Now! Goes on the ground! Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this? I'd like to speak to my lawyer, please. God damn it. She begged for her life, detective. Shut up! She begged for her life. Shut up. And for the life of the baby inside of her. Shut up! Kill him. He will win. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh! beef and cheese pot pie on a stick, just $1.99 for a limited time only? We were just at a seminar. Uh, buddy, this is my... Her husband. We've met before, but something tells me you're going to remember me this time. Whoa. You are so busted. You know, this really doesn't concern you. Well, actually, Janine is senior drive through manager, so you kind of are on her turf. So, this makes sense. Oh, Lester. Honey, it's okay. I want you to be happy. Would you like smiley sauce with that? Lester, just stop it! No, no. You don't get to tell me what to do ever again. I know what I'm talking about, Arlene. My father got on his knees and begged my mother, and my mother, she always took him back. I never understood it. She'd cover the bruises and the cuts, and she'd take him back. Because he begged, and he cried. And now you ask me what happened after he came back. Now go on! 
You said you wanted to know what happened to me. Now ask me. I don't like this. Did he hurt you, Eugene? Ask me. Did he hurt you? Not for long. By 13, I was gone. I ran away. But I missed her. So I had to go back and see her. And so one night I did. Now ask me what happened that night. What happened that night you came back, Eugene? What happened? He was there, drunk as usual. Only this time I wasn't the same. I was 16 years old, and I was no longer afraid of him. And when I looked him in the eye and told him if he ever touched her again, I would kill him, he knew. He knew a minute, five minutes, I don't know. And then he's back, and he's wetting me down. He's wetting me down, and I don't understand. I don't understand why water should smell so bad. I don't understand. And then I see it. I see this, this gas can, this red gas can from his truck. And he looks at me one last time. And he lights a match. And the last thing I remember, and I'll never forget it, were his eyes. His eyes, because they were filled with this immense satisfaction. I'm so sorry. Don't, 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 don't tell me how sorry you are for me! Just tell me how you're going to stop it happening to Trevor. Ricky would never do that. Oh, Jesus, Arlene, he doesn't have to. All he has to do is not love him. And in the world can hurt us long as we're singing our song. Give me trumpets, legato. Put some saxes with them. Strings, pizzicato. Add some rhythm.
Get out of the car, all of you. Come on. Come on. Okay, remember I saved your life that one Shut time? up. Okay. Just take it easy. Shut up. I got six bullets in this gun, which means I can shoot all of you twice, just like that bastard pellet, if I really wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. You're not going to shoot us twice, or you're not going to shoot us? Be clear. Shut up. I got a better idea. I'm going to tell the cops that you killed Pelly. And when I found out, you tried to kill me to shut me up. That's crazy. Is it? Because I don't see one shred of evidence that proves that I shot Pelly. And besides, I'm the guy with the bullet in his leg. What? Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York. Curse not thyself, fair creature. I would I were to be revenged on thee. It is a quarrel most unnatural to be revenged on him that loveth thee. It is a quarrel just and reasonable to be revenged on him that killed my husband. Ah! What canst thou swear by now? The time to come. That thou hast wronged it in the time or past. Cousin of Buckingham, lend me thy hand. Tomorrow in the battle, think on me, and fall thy edgeless sword, despair, and die. A thousand hearts are great within my bosom. Advance our standards, set upon our foes. March on, join bravely. Let us to in hell now. If not to heaven, then hand in hand to hell! Good morning, Mr. Crow. The pain. It's gone. I took advantage of the situation. It turns out your whole mouth was a mess. It took a while, but you'll never have to visit a dentist the rest of your life. I do think I'm ready to have that drink with you now. That's lovely, sir, because you're going to need a drink. Maybe you should take a look in the waiting room first. Yes, Dr. Robert Middling. Right you are. I be Bob, too. First mate Bob, and don't be forgetting it. Here. And I be first. Uh... Um, 
Bob, how do you feel about needles? 